Hi girls. So I really want to do this video on the basics of eyeshadow because when I used to start, you know, like applying shadow a few years back and I used to watch all these YouTube videos, I felt like I was doing the same thing that the anchors were doing but somehow it never really looked the same on me. And I only realized later on it's because probably the placement was too high or I wasn't using the correct brush and it's really the small small things which matter versus, you know, looking at a bigger look. So I thought I'll take you through uh, what are the basic colors that you would be needing, how to apply them, where to apply them, etc, etc. So essentially any kind of good cohesive eye look uh, consists of three colors and that will be the lightest color, a middle shade and a darker shade. So whether you're doing a purple eye or a green eye or just a neutral eyeshadow, pick a shade that's the lightest which will be a shimmery color and then there will be a medium tone which should mostly be matte and then the deepest shade which should definitely be matte. So um, for me, uh, if you see I've got like a shimmery color already on my eyelids, that's kind of like a lighter shade and just to give an example to you guys, this could be a medium tone shade, maybe a shade darker than this because this is a bit too light for me. So if I mix both of these, that would give me my medium tone shade and then this is going to be my darkest shade. So um, coming first to the lightest shade that you have, which is what's on my lid right now. So when you open your eyes, see this crease line over here? where the skin folds. If I look down and I open again, you see where my skin folds like that. That's your crease line. And one of the things to keep in mind with your lighter shadow is that it should never really cross the crease line. So every time you put in your lighter shadow, uh, start from your uh, lash light and go up till just below the crease line. The other important thing to remember about the lighter shadow is that when you apply it, apply it with a flat brush, something like this one and uh, when you start applying it, then apply it first closest to your lash line. So when I apply it, I'm going to go over here first and then diffuse out the color as I go upwards. A lot of people, they, they apply the shadow and they go here first, which really defeats the purpose because it looks like you've got a solid blob of color instead of getting a diffused outlook. So now that we're done with the lighter shadow, moving on to the medium shadow. So just to give you guys a bit of a demo, Let's say my medium shadow is the one where I mix kind of these two colors. Then the medium tone shadow should ideally be kind of at the same, uh, same tone as your skin tone. Now the way I would apply this shadow is I would look straight in the mirror and again I'm going to look at my crease uh, where that crease folds and place my eyeshadow brush right into it like that. Once you've placed your eyeshadow brush right over there, then look down and use this point as a reference to start placing it. So I'm going to look down and I'm going to start placing it here for example. Your medium tone shadow should actually come above your crease line. So this is why when we start it, we place it right into the crease and then we go in circular motions so that when you open your eyes, there should be a very subtle wash of that medium shadow above your crease line. And the brush you're supposed to use with this kind of a shadow is a fluffy blending brush. This is the MAC 217. It's one of the best blending brushes out there and it's a brush I really think you guys should invest in because it makes all the difference. Like I used to be doing the exact same thing but with different brushes and I could never get the look I get. So you would just kind of blend that all in and diffuse it all out towards your eyebrow. So that's your medium shade. And uh, then coming to the darkest shade, you would basically put, you can put the same brush in or you can use a flat shader brush for this as well. Just take a very, very little bit. So when you're putting your brush into the darkest shade, it should just very gently touch it. And um, what you're supposed to do with this thing is, number one, place it in the outer corner and then place it in uh, the same shape as you used your previous shadow but at a lower level. So if your medium tone shadow is showing here, your darker shade should not show above your crease. It should be just into that crease so that only when you uh, look down you could see it but when you're looking up it will just look like some sort of um, a shadowy effect. So. Instead of placing it in my crease area, I'm going to go, ahead, go lower, I'm going to just place it gently in the outer corner. 
and then you can just use your fluffy blending brush to blend everything in one another thing to note is when you're using this brush is always hold it uh, towards the end and don't hold it like a pencil like this because when you hold it like this it you get very like defined sharp strokes and it doesn't really uh, aid the soft diffuse blending process versus when you hold it here you get much softer strokes and then the last thing you can do with the darkest shadow is to take maybe a very thin brush and then just drag it at the bottom over here um a lot of people just like to line the eyes with kajal i prefer it if i do you know a darker shadow over here and then leave it as is i feel it gives more of a soft and natural look but essentially those are the basics you need to keep in mind with your lightest your middle tone and your dark shadow it doesn't have to be in the same color you could even if you're doing a green eye shadow look all you have to remember is that your shimmery shade should be below your crease line and with a flat shader brush um going up in a diffused way your medium shade should be showing above your crease line over here and then your darkest shade should be in the outer corner extending a little bit towards the middle of the eyelid so i hope that cleared up uh, some of your questions for you and the next time you're applying eye shadow you won't be uh, as clueless and if this helped you a lot then don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys see you soon